What's up, everybody? What is up? It's your boy, back at you once again with another brand new live stream. Today, coming at you with some Batman. Hopefully, maybe, if everything's working, should be working. Ha ha ha! Go, live stream, go! Entertain the masses! What's happening, everybody? You good? Hopefully. Hopefully everything's working. Hopefully everything's good to go. Are we good to go? There we go. We're up and running. We're off to the races. How's everyone doing? You good? Good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get started in just a sec. We're gonna be playing some Batman. Because I failed to play it uh, for a while. I was supposed to do it when I came back from tour, and I didn't, and then I said I was going to live stream, and I wanted to live stream other games first, so now I'm live streaming this, finally, because episode, this is going to be episode two, um, but episode three is coming out tomorrow, and technically I'm allowed to upload it now, today, if I wanted to, I'm allowed to play it, um, but I'm kind of behind on myself, so I, did, I didn't get that ready in time, so now I'm playing this now, and then we can play episode three, Tomorrow or the next day or whatever, whenever I decide. And I don't know if that's going to be a stream or not, but we're in it to win it. We're starting. Hello, everybody. Welcome me. And if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube when it's archived, hello to you too. Sorry that I'm not uh, that I'm not playing the game yet when we're talking to chat, but I'm waiting for people to filter in, and then everything should be good to go. Because I, I posted it all over social medias and need people to have a chance to actually check it. And I also have to see if it's freaking working because everything seems to break whenever I try stuff. Okay. Everything's working. Shall we begin? Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, top of the morning, you laddies! All, all that stuff. Welcome to Batman Season 2, Episode 2. This one's called The Pact, which is also, I should note that this is on my, my new computer. And I, I moved everything over and I think everything should be okay. All the saves should be intact and everything should be cloud saved anyway. Regardless, all my decisions shouldn't be affected. But just in case anything goes wrong, you can blame that. But this is episode two. We did episode one uh, a while back, actually. And you remember it was all about the Riddler and then we got to the end of that episode and Amanda Waller was there, who's normally from Suicide Squad, if you've seen that, and she knew who our identity was. So she knew we were Bruce Wayne and the Widlow, the Widlow, the Widlow got killed. He got killed at the end of the last episode, so. Really exciting times. It looks like we have Bane, Harley, and Mr. Freeze going into this episode. Next episode is Catwoman and then yeah, technically I can play this now. It says it's out. And then we have the Joker. And then we have Batman fighting the Joker. I don't know. But I'm excited for this. With his identity on the line, Bruce must work with a new power player in Gotham. A criminal conspiracy is growing in the shadows, threatening the entire city. Okay, let's start episode two. Let's get into it. Hopefully we get a previously on Batman because we need a recap. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. As with all of these, Batman will remember that. Jack will remember that. There she is. The big pair. A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor, but the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Yeah. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. Mm. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Hmm. Bruce Wayne. 
Dun, dun, dun. Ah, the lady of Dublin, I forgot. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. Appreciate it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us we to be- Reinstate Gordon, I want ourselves. Jimmy John to have his job back. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hmm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, aren't you? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. Okay. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? I think so. Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. Yeah. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons. This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. No problem, for I am Let's move, Batman! This is what we trained for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. Okay, we're in. We're ready to go. Music's badass. Oh no, he died. Oh, there he is, sneaky, sneaky, Batman, sneaky, sneaky. You die on top of that thing. What? What more do you want with me? Hey, shut it. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a Sleeper hold or batarang disarm. Batarang disarm! Aha! What's up, buttercup? See? I got you both. How many are there? I don't know. Kenny? Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Really big Get one? Out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Is that Bane? Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. Drop from oh, drop from above. I wanna be a sneaky sneaky Batman, sneaky sneaky. <laughs> oh, I don't do well with guns. And neither do you anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> Who are you? A nightmare. Bane! Much like yourself. But you can call me Bane. Bane. Ah! Ooh. 
A man cannot win a war alone. Vicious dessert! <laughs> he can't win a war alone, but he sure can kick the shit out of a lot of guys. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die alone. <laughs> nice. Nice. Hit him with that crap, my god. Uppercut Bane, disarm goon. Disarm goon! He has a gun! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead? Yeah, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint. Get him, boys! Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. And then... <laughs> <laughs> you will pay for that. Oh, bit of a bitch move there, Bats. Kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass. Save your strength, man. This one is mine. You, you, you hang around too? Oh, oh. It's gonna turn into the Grinch. Peaceful. If you take it. Kenny! Nice. Ow. This pain you're feeling, Batman. The oh, he's not gonna break my back, is he? Oh my god. Oh, he is. <laughs> okay. so well. Did you get him? There is nothing to fear, my friend. Keep your eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you to the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll need the battle by the dots. Safe travels, my friends. Kenny, no! Bat's got his ass beat. Is this supposed to be music? Awkward. <laughs> Batman! Mom? <laughs> Say something if you can hear me. But! Here. Oh my god. Batman, I 
found him! We're going to have to unpin him. Batman, I'm gonna need your help to push this thing off you. Uh, my back is One, broke. Two. Three. Yeah, come on, boy. I did it. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Was that the game froze? <laughs> who was taken hostage. Where is he? He didn't make it. No, Kenny! I'm sorry. Who the hell did this to you? Called himself Bane. His crew loaded the weapons onto the APCs and took them to a warehouse. I really do appreciate you reaching out to me about this. <sighs> Listen. You really need to pull yourself together, because the threat we're facing is worse than I thought. While you were here, a gang of masked men hit a biotech manufacturer. Perf slipped right through our damn fingers. Hmm. Every single one of them. Happens to the best of us. No, it doesn't. There's no excuse for failure. Not even my own. Don't be so hard on yourself. This Bane and the crew who hit the biotech lab must all be members of Riddler's gang. I need to get back to the Batcave, figure out how this all fits together. <laughs> as soon as my team finishes cleaning up that biotech facility, I'll share with you any intel we discover. It's a sign our new partnership is off to a good start. You're on my team now, and I take good care of my people. Oh, do you got dental? Because he, he messed up all of my teeth. They're all gone. These are bat teeth. Agent Avesta, you should be resting. There will be time for that later. I wanted to thank you properly for saving my life. I wouldn't be here without you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to rescue your partner. I know you did everything you could have to save Blake. I hope you know that too. You were right to trust the Director to help with this. Working with Waller will be the fastest way to stop these murderers before anyone else gets hurt. Consider that. You should go take care of yourself. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. <laughs> He, Batman's only being held together by his suit right now. As soon as he takes it off, bits of him just fall off. <laughs> Episode 2! The Pact! 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 Rip Kenny, man. Bruce! Help me out of my lamb bat Keeney. I'm fine. Really. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. Oh, Alfred. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. Oh. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? Okay. Way to be passive aggressive. We Al. already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we, we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. Don't worry. We get him next time. Ooh, Bruce! As if he wasn't bad enough. Now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. 
Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Trying to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. I need your strength right now. Of course. Sorry for not being my resolute self. We've never gone up against anyone able to cause you so much harm. Waller is right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Oh. Yikes, man, you're all beat to shit. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Deadly Something neurotoxin. New. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Goth Labs, Labs, genetic research facility. That's Mr. Freeze, Where do anyway. We even start with this. I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Jesus! Mystery suspect. It's Mr. Freeze! You just put Mr. or Mrs. in front of whatever you see on screen. If you see a lot of blood on screen, it's Mr. Murder. If you see a lot of frickin' plants on screen, it's Miss Ivy! Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. You said frozen a lot. Didn't that give you a, a hint? It's like if you see a lot of spiders in there, it's Mr. Spider-Man! You know, catch on. This is how superheroes work. Batman figured that out in time, though. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. It's Harley. Over a dozen dead. And even more wounded. Or Mostly we like by to call gunshot, her though some Miss victims Steely. had hit smashed in. Oh, that's Bob Barrick. So in this one, I think Harley doesn't have a, a baseball bat. She does in a lot of other things. You you often see her with a bat, which is poetry. She hits people with a bat. You're Batman. She's Batwoman kind of. But I think in this one, she just goes around with a sledgehammer, which is really messed up. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. So what you're saying is she's available. <laughs> um, do I have to look at anything? Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. One hell of a I don't party. mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them, that would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. 
<laughs> hey guys, it's me. Case, then you okay. John can get you close to the <laughs> others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside. Yeah. Finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to bingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'd be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. My father was one of the best-known criminals in Gotham. It should be easy enough to pretend I'm following in his footsteps. That's true. I suppose it could work. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Check out that bat butt and those bat apps and those bat pecs. John, I'd like to take you up on your offer. He's like, oh sweet, I'll grab the cocaine. Excellent news. Can we meet? No, just the place, the stacked deck. The stacked deck, that's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. I'm fine, Alfred, what do you think is wrong with me? See? Good as new. <laughs> oh my god. Bruce, really? Batman? I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie. Really? Tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. It, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of... Sh <laughs> oh, uh, I am... Uh, <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Finish I mean, your thought, uh, man. Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work, but you away with it all. Nothing bad ever <laughs> happens to Bruce Wayne. Dude, Besides the whole dead parents thing. Yeah, and I'm missing a piece of my ear. Bruce, uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Sure could. Hey, John, what about my medicine? Bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. <laughs> I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. Your regular old Joker Teresa. Thanks. So, that rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John. Did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. Riddler deserved everything he got. Ah! Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. Wrong answer. Maybe you pulled the trigger. Wouldn't that be a guess? <laughs> I got close enough. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. 
Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Oh. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. Okay. I pinky swear. <laughs> grab, grab his pinky. Bruce, you never leave a man pinky swear hanging. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> Your relationship with John has changed. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go meet the guys. I'll let him know we're on our way. What's that dude in the background looking at? Hey. <laughs> Hi. I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. Get out of my face. Okay, fine. You're right. I'll leave him be. Go away, Willie. What are you... Screw you! Oh, God. Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! <laughs> No one's making a fool out of Willie. Uh, Not even you, John. I'm gonna defend him. Stay away from him. I need to earn his trust. Oh! 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 Perfect. What <laughs> a <laughs> lovely violence! Oh God! Sorry. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Willie had a problem, and we took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. That sounds way worse. All right, freak show. I'm calling the Come cops. On. <laughs> Better get out of here. Mm -hmm. Hey, handsome. Buy me a drink before you go? You're following me? Waller just wants to remind you. Stay on the clown and get to Bane. Whatever happens, keep your eye on the prize. So now you be careful. No, you know I'm Batman. Why don't we just fucking tell everybody? Why don't I just do birthdays? That was fantastic. <laughs> sure was. Oh, cool. They're expecting you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, Br Bruce. Um. Oh. <laughs> one. One more thing. You can't tell anyone this this is big it's huge i think i'm in love wow. it's it's an odd with me <laughs> at first I, I, I thought i had some kind of disease i am so happy john you deserve the best yeah i'd blush if i could is he in love with harley so Sorry, mysterious. You at least gotta tell me her name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. I keep expecting him to turn around and be like completely different eventually, but maybe this is just his character. Maybe Harley is like the head of the power couple Almost this time. Almost got it. God damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this I is I could buy you a car. No. Started. Come on, come on, come on. John, really? You stole this car? I know it's kind of falling apart, but it was the only thing available, you know? No, I... Besides, Oro. the newer models, they don't start so easy without a key. There we go! Oh, there she is. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. With your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. 
I kind of want to say you'll make a mess, Farley. but it's still more useful in life. Grown ups are talking. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you too. No, those are fun. <laughs> I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See, there wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. Well, let's put some music on. Your voice is weird. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? Does she listen to Paramore? You guys would hit it off. Well, trust me, I'm laughing my ass off <laughs> on the inside. Oh, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, I like my dick. sad way you lost your folks. What in here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us? I want to get an idea why. Um, you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us. I want to run Gotham. I want to run this town. Just like Falcone. Just like my father. You can help me do that. Uh-huh. Sure. The Playboy's trading his tux for a Tommy gun. Bruce has hidden depths, Harley. Like, really deep. When we were in Arkham, we got into all kinds of mischief. <laughs> he showed me some of the darkness he's got inside. You don't forget something like that. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. This is weird. Maybe she's just mad because my chemical romance broke up. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old Puddin'. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. Okay. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored I like Panic at the Disco too? How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in this city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. <laughs> you think that's the same? Eh, don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Okay. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. Oh my god, what is with her design? Stop! What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Wood. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? Sure. Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce. <laughs> I want you to know the feeling's mutual. Oh, he's cute. Oh, my God. That is the best damn slushy ever. Take a sip, Bruce. You do not suck on that. 
I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, come to me. Come on, put your lips on it. <laughs> Joker's just like, I ain't got You want to do it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told ya. There, now we've all kissed. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. Oh, no. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe a whole kingpin of Gotham shtick won't seem so absurd. And maybe, just maybe, I'll vouch for you with the others. Mm. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's of okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? No problem. Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well, then, let's get moving. No time like the present. Poor John. I miss John. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. And I love tacos. Ugh. Not a fan of her voice or her design, but... You know what? We'll get through it. Wayne Tower, 12.42 p.m. Uh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. Hmm. Sure. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> Okay? This is never sleeps, you know. He's got time well, and time's money. For the weary. Yeah, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. What you call me? Daryl. Excuse me. Um, could I have Daryl fired, please? Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. <laughs> Really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. I kill lots of people, actually. Going up, Brucey. Oh, I can't. You help do them. know how an elevator works, don't you? Yeah, what I do. do. You usually get oh, shut up! You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. Give me a hard time. Mm, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked down will teach him a lesson. Did anyone see you do that? A uh, fancy joint like this probably has cameras. Hope they got my good side. I thought you were going to wait in the car. I hardly figured you'd want some company. Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? Oh, I just have to go along with this to make it of work. Of course. Glad you could join me. Welcome to Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Thank 
drink, sugar. It's a little close. All this is yours, huh? Kind of blood. Our place has way more personality. My place is way more floors, though. I have though. to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens. The power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. <laughs> you think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get If you quite work hard, Johnny boy, you can accomplish beans, your dreams. If you keep your head down, work really hard, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh, <laughs> come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's <laughs> money. You gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> hey, hey, pull it together, puds. All that slushy you drink has got you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... Uh, Halloween <clears throat> costume designers. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Fashion consultants. They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place. Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, fine, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Uh-oh. How, how am I funny, though? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Oh, Joe Pesci Excuse vibe. Excuse me? You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Uh -oh. Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off uh -oh. whenever they want. Fuck. I'm sorry, Harley. It won't happen again. That's for damn sure. There's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll. We'll talk about this later, Bruce. <laughs> talk about this later, Bruce, bye! <laughs> oh, Regina. Mm -mm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. No! Tempting, but I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. Yes, that would be a terrible idea. <laughs> Bruce has a job to do. Remember? Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moments. I mean, John is dressed very nicely. I have to give him that. You go, are you okay there? Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. Hey. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Uh, night to four death. up. That's all it takes to get into your secret lair. That could happen by accident. Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. Oh, John, you're so wholesome. I want good things for John. He may be the Joker and he may turn really bad at the end, but 
John's pretty nice. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> oh, Lucius. Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. I do have a lot of them. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Hmm. Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? I don't fucking know. It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Are my privileges not revoked anymore? Lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Yeah. Of all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. <laughs> but that's just a regular old mobile phone. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Oh, no. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. All right, that's a start. That's damn powerful technology. Jesus. Getting there. Um, I think that's all we can get here. All right. Hey, John. He has a nice phone case. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. I mean, not as nice as mine. Mine's pretty good. Just saying. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Damn it. I'm gonna scan for prints. Or at least scan for the... Thumbs formerly known as Prince. There we go. What's up? Okay, this will work. But don't you need the impression of it under? Oh, that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? Uh, melt your face. I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? It also makes your sterile and makes your dick fall off, but I mean, go ahead. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Why does she have like half gloves on? Looks like she's wearing gloves that are too small for her.
looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your, your, your dad worked with Batman. He was cool. Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it. His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. Yeah. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce. She got cool These hair. people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. No need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. You don't have to say anything to her, John, okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. That's my boy! What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, Make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Oh, fuck. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are long gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. So my relationship with Tiffany has changed. Took you long enough. She hated I was me before. I to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. That's silly. You boys did good, you know. Made Mama proud. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. John Strong. Whew. Oh, Al. Bruce. Are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. Yep. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was a masterstroke, Bruce. Thanks, Al. Still, that young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I agree. Tiffany's I've cool. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout, 
had an extended vacation. Okay, cancel firing, cancel firing. Offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story <laughs> is going to cause more problems. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yeah. Yes, uh, I suppose I will. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane, but this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> Someone needs Bruce Wayne. Well, be careful. Ban Ban Wayne. Bruce Man. Good luck. Hey, just collapse on. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm here. It's me. It's Bad Bruce. How long does this usually take? It takes as long as it takes. You don't just call him like a dog. There's a million more efficient ways of contacting him, but you do it like this. <laughs> Symbols are important. Just like principles. This is a waste of my time. <laughs> you two are acting almost friendly. It's a strange sight. Batman. About time. Gord man? Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. You're both behaving like children. Watch your tone, Batman. No! Or what? You'll put him on timeout? <laughs> I've been lenient with you so far, but don't push me. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. Damn That's right, I'm Batman. To be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. I like Jim. Jim's cool. He's got heart and resolve. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Oh, I this know what you mean. plans and all that. I do know. This city has made me who I am. So I've heard. I just wish Gotham produced more Batmans and less Riddlers. Make my job a whole lot easier. Yeah. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood, wanted to see you, her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Does she know who I really am? Who do you think told me who you are? <laughs> for the world's greatest detective, you sure can be slow. Hey, I'm no Hercule Poirot. My lab techs were able to replicate a dose of the venom serum from the vile Bane left behind at the police arsenal. But with a twist, it's actually a counter-agent. Hmm. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> After a brief rush, it'll flush the venom from his system, leaving him weak and exhausted. Could be useful. Me? So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. 
before everything blew up. I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. Oh, I got real close to him. <laughs> You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. A vote of confidence. I'm touched, Waller. Credit where credit's due. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what he. Do you just want my bat abs? My bat butt? Is that what it is? If we do this, I want to guarantee that no one gets killed. No one dies. No one has to join murder gangs run by maniacs either. Look, I know your code against killing, but I won't risk my agent's safety for a band of sociopaths. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. We out here, dog. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go you know, down. Walter. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Oh, my predator arm is on. You're in. Well, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Let's do it. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. I'm, oh, look at Snazzy. Look at that Jacksepticeye hat you got going on. Top of the right. morning, Bruce. Here we go. Hey, fellas. Hey. That would have went nicely. Stop manhandling me, you manhandlers. Hey now! Welcome hey now. to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Because you already tried once and it didn't work. What I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. Who the hell wants to do hard work? <laughs> I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this. Looks like an Avenged Sevenfold tattoo. Me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already <laughs> got us an EMP device and the failing ski. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. <laughs> ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? John, turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? <laughs> okay, relax. You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! Okay, relax. You got cold hands. I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, oh, the fuck? I'll send you to a frozen hell. I don't know what I'm doing. Match the switches on the schematic display. Okay, turn off. Okay, that's green. This one's red. 
Done. Okay. So it's that one. Am I not doing this right? This has to be red. This one has to be red. This one has to be red. And this one has to be red. And this one has to be green. Using my bat brains to bat solve the bat case. Well, at least we know that it works. Yep. I must check on Nora. See how she is. Oh, Nora's still alive. You may have impressed these two. But I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Likewise. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. There's a weird villain dynamic going on in this game. That's never really been done quite the same before. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. Those you distanced bad. yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit, and, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. <laughs> if I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. I don't trust her. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long, I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But well, don't push yeah. your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. What kind of job? I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. Sorry, and Freeze. I don't think Bane likes me. Let's talk about Freeze. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? <laughs> Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul... The whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? How romantic. I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. <laughs> Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. This just made him into such an angry person. You know? It's tearing him up inside. 
Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Okay, what about Bane? He kind of messed me up before. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> Okay, that was awkward. Bye. I guess. <laughs> ah, there he is, Freezy Boy. What's up, Freezy Pop? <gasps> is he punching tires? Do you leave the Michelin Man alone? Spirit of unity? Not really what I'm sensing from this group. I mean, they do have unity. All right. Oh wait, no, that's back into. No, I don't want to go in there again. Come back later, will ya? Yeah, I didn't actually want to go in there. I thought for some reason I thought that, that was the way down. Hey. Where's Johnny Boy? Look at that swagger that my Bruce man's got going on. That is a nice outfit. That's the outfit of a man who's like, I can hold myself well, I work out, oh, I ride a motorcycle, but I also care about people and the environment. It's a nice look, Bruce man. John's house. Oh, he's got a cute little house. Is it full of dead bodies? Hey, buddy! It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office making me look good. No problem. Hey, I'm just glad everything worked out. Did it ever? Handing that key over to Harley, giving her what she wanted, pure ecstasy. <laughs> it, yeah, it was a big moment for me. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> it looked like Bane might kill you. I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. My hero! Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That was intentional? John, how did you manage to do that? No Bane was going to kill you? Seemed like a safe bet. No, no, Lucius would have put safeguards on the EMP to keep you from doing exactly what you did. Then I guess we both got really lucky. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. See you, see you later, lo lovey boy. See the photo of both of us? <laughs> he put a nicer face on it. <laughs> Empty space. That's him and Harley. That's cute. Are you in a wheelchair? Also, I have a feeling that John's just doing all of this, and then at the end, he's going to turn around and betray everyone. He's going to be the mastermind. I don't think they're going to keep up this whole, like, submissive type of hey, character Bruce. with him for long. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. He's like four times your size. But thank you, John. I appreciate it. Alright. Let's go talk to Bane Man. We got things in common. 
We're both strong, we're both handsome, and we both like to beat things up. And also both of our parents are dead, but whatever. <laughs> Just thought you looked thirsty. Please, come. He didn't say thank you, but it said at the bottom. Oh god, Jesus. Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I bombed their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Do you know how big my company is? I barely knew Fox then. Guys like him are interchangeable. Don't treat me like a peasant, Wayne. You won't like what happens if you do. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after death. I'm not gonna Hitler's risk it. Death. Not, not right now. I can do it in a fight if I have to. We'll see if you can be trusted, Wayne. If I did it now, Very it would just soon. ruin everything already. Venom Lab. And now I see where Bane gets his fashion sense. Yeah, because Bane's a luchador, right? Hey, what's up, goons? Working hard or hardly working, huh? Ah. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. Okay. That's cool, whatever. Just want to be friends. EMP shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. You guys are like... Why are, you, why are you talking to yourself? Why are you being all shifty? Why are you talking like you're some sort of superhero? Why are you talking like you're Batman? Okay, move along. Oh, that cinematic stairwalk. Hello, Victor. I heard about your wife, and I... Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh, I didn't know. What are you trying to pull? You'll answer me if you're smart, and understand the concept of self-preservation. That voice is familiar. What you're doing? That kind of love, it's rare. My wife followed your goings-on in the society columns, Wayne. You are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Well, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return on my investment. <laughs> Practical. I respect that. Thanks, Vic. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Wait! Good luck. What? Uh oh. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Bane! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. We have to beat him up. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. I don't want to beat him up. I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are. And that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Oh. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the 
The sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, I don't have to pick it up and... Oh, ow. Is he not gonna notice that I have the same wounds? Kill anyone. Maybe you do have what it takes to join our pack. I didn't say I wouldn't beat the shit out of someone. The package is moving. What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Oh. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? All right. I'm in! I'm in! The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. You agree, right? I'm I say in. we add him to the pack. Yes! In. There may be more to Wayne than first appeared. He can be trusted. Yes! In. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And where was I going with this? <laughs> right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. I got in, y'all! Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world yeah! can be ours! That's surprisingly wholesome. Surprisingly Somebody nice. Somebody grab that thing. It's important. Let's go hit him with the hind. The hind. What? Okay. Is um, is Freeze's voice Matt Mercer? Just gonna put it out. Matt Mercer follows me on Twitter. Wayne, we are close. And Troy Baker. Make your device ready. And Roger Blue Craig Smith. Hehehe, <laughs> I'm so giddy. <laughs> EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh huh. What? No. You no. are providing our escape. Yeah, Waller. On the move with targets. Yeah. Track the signal. Not a Get voice I see. Here. Now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Now we do this. Wait. What in the... Now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Surface weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Wade! Do it! Ooh! What God was damn. that? Going on? HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried! All comms are down. You have electric Ooh. guns. Damn future. Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp. Hi, John. Secure the vehicle. <laughs> Punch him. Oh. It'll save him Your from getting shot. On the perimeter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Freeze! Open the door. Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. And have no sudden moves and no talk. That's cool. Strike it. Go on. 
quickly. <laughs> You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. Back off, or I'll shoot. Oh no. No, no, no! Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. Oh shit. I would not turn my back on him. I leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Man, seize the cargo. Get out of here. What the hell is that thing? Bomber, where are you? It looks like a like a casket. Ah! About. The package. Let them have it. It's not worth my agent's lives. <laughs> oh. oh, God. You can't be serious. You were supposed to be here. No! That was my ride! Break out the artillery. That's a good shot. Disable their vehicles. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> are, you, are you here? Wait, Take this hold on. Later. For now, just move it. While we're out. Shit, man. I don't want to hurt ya. But I will blow your heads off if you make me. Eat concrete! Lights out! Put out that fire! Gone tits up already. I'm gonna play whack a mole with their heads. It's a warrior's death. Oh, God. Uh, Harley. Harley. Oh, come join the fun. And keep your arms and legs inside the ride. That was impressive. You're safer this way. Well, that was fun. Kinda. Be a sweetheart and give me a hand with the luggage. If you're knocked out, it's better to be dead. Uh, if I stabbed him earlier, he... What's in this thing? Nice work back there, Brucey boy. Ah, uh, cheers, you love. Really know how to show a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the Ice Man bummeth. <laughs> if Bane survives, you'll make us all pay for abandoning him. It's high noon. Bane will survive, and he won't let this slide. Guy's probably having a ball, cracking skulls. He knew the risks. Bane shouldn't have put himself in that situation. It's his fault he's in a pickle. Be careful. You might wind up in a similar situation one day. All right. We got the package. Be grateful you're around to see it. What is it? <laughs> Intrigued, Brucey? Wanna know what's inside? What's in the box? Go on. Open it. Ooh. 
I'm seriously curious. I don't know what it is. It's Riddler! Whew. I thought he stank when he was alive. You really put us through a lot of trouble, Mr. Smarty Pants. Getting yourself killed like that. We needed you for the next stage. I've got what you need. Catwoman! For the right price. She back! <laughs> you and 100% of players left Gordon feeling worried. He was hurt you called Waller instead of him because you told him the truth. He is worried. Oh, Gordo. It didn't work out, man. 53.1% of players left Harley feeling happy. She was amused you played along with her, Mafia Regina. Okay, so I did all the things to get her on my side because I wanted to get her trust. And that's, that's almost 50-50. 99.7% of players left Waller feeling content. She was frustrated when you asked for Sarah Gordon. She was gratified when you called her instead of Gordon to help you. Because you agreed to work with her while undercover, your relationship with Waller is positive. Yay! This is the relationship I'm most interested in. Because I think she's going to become like... Well, you have... Is it Barbara Gordon? Who's like the... Who's like Wayne's like eyes and ears kind of the lady in the wheelchair. I kind of want her to become that. I want her to be like Bruce's confidant outside of that. Or I want her like on the team. 58.4% of players left Alfred left Alfred feeling content. He approved of your decision to be honest with Tiffany. He was proud when you told him he always does the right thing. And your conversation in the parlor gave him a renewed sense of purpose. These are all good things. Shame on the rest of you. 53.1% of players left John feeling happy. Okay, he was overjoyed, excited, and elated with all my decisions. Ah, did you get Tiffany to hand over the phalanx key? 55.6% of players did. I'm in the majority on all of them so far. You and 30... Ah, crap. Did you call Gordon or Waller to the arsenal? It seemed like some of the other choices that I made kind of went against this, but okay. Can't win them all. Did you pay Willie off or let it get resolved with violence? Ooh. Only 14%. Yeah, 48% of people tried to give him a drink. I probably... I, I was going to do that, but... I don't know. Who did you follow in the convoy? 44.7% of players attempted to minimize casualties in the convoy raid by following Harley, countering her chaos at every turn. Well, uh, my reasoning for that was I didn't go after Bane because I thought it was a case of I'd have to stop them. And if I went after Bane, I knew he was able to kick the shit out of me already, which I didn't want to go up against. But I thought if... Okay, let me just turn down this. I thought... I thought if I showed my... I thought if I showed my prowess, that he'd see where I was weak. That he'd see my ribs hurt. And that because of that then, he'd be able to turn around and be like, Oh, you hurt like that because you're Batman. And I beat up Batman that way, so, I don't know. Did you pinky swear with John? Shame on you 4.7% of people. Shame. Okay. Cool. So there's only a few of them that I was in the minority on. Alrighty. The next one is called the Fractured Mask. As the pressure to uncover the impending attack on Gotham intensifies, Bruce investigates his dual, dual identity and his relationships with his new ally. So, as I said at the start, technically I can play this right now. Um, it comes out tomorrow for everybody. Uh, but 
I'm behind on everything, so I'll play this soon. I won't leave it as long to play this episode now that I have nothing else actually going on. Because last time I was on tour, so everything got in the way, and then I kind of forgot, and I was trying to get back in action. So I'll, I'll come back soon in a day or two, and we'll, we'll do this one again. I don't know if I'm going to stream it or if I'm going to actually play it as an episode, but I guess we'll find out when that happens. But thank you guys for being here for the stream, and thank you to anyone who's at home watching this afterwards. Um, that was a good episode. A little weird. Some of the... Some of the stuff in it, like Harley's design and her voice, I couldn't really get into. As the episode went on, I kind of just understood it a bit more. Um, I like Bane's design. He's pretty cool. He's actually like a luchador now. And he has like the mask and everything on. He, he's, he's one of the better Banes I've seen. Freeze is okay, but I miss Freeze's gun. I like, I like him when he actually has a gun. Um, and some of the decisions in it again are like... It kind of plays with your emotions to be like, oh, how are you going to react in this situation? And then you, you kind of end up doing all the things anyway. It's kind of cosmetic choices, which I'm not really a fan of. I'd rather have my choices make a bigger difference rather than just being a statistic at the end of each episode to compare and contrast with people. So it's like, if you, if you say no to certain things, like, the story continues. You get to the same plot points anyway. It's just how you feel internally about them or how your character reacts to them after that, but th again, they're all cosmetic choices. They they rarely ever have long-lasting effects, and then everyone's always like, "Well, wait till the end of the season, and then you'll find out." But it still, it still rarely ever does. It's the same with all of the Telltale games recently. They their their choices never really have any large impact. Sometimes characters die, but then the next episode it just reverts it, and the other character dies anyway, or everyone forgets about that character. It has no long implications. So, I don't know. I, I, I hope that it changes going forward. But anyway, that does it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll come back with this episode soon. Um, let me know what you guys thought of it. I thought it was okay. It, has, it had its ups and downs. I think it had more going for it than it had going against it. And I'm like, this episode was a lot more Bruce Wayne heavy, which I found kind of interesting. There was less Batman, and there was more Bruce, which we haven't had in some of the other episodes. So, hopefully we get back into Bruce, or er, get back into Bat territory next time. I'm all confused. There's too many identities. Um, this will be going up onto the channel afterwards, so whenever it's finished processing, you guys will be able to watch it as a full video, and if you're doing that right now, then me saying that is pointless. But, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And, my face all around. Whoosh! Whoosh! Well, thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video! <laughs> Bye! Bye everyone! Thanks for watching! See you later!